it was in 2021. Um, it was on my property. I have 22 acres or 20 acres of land uh, in Kentucky here. And um, in the, the back part, I was on my deck and I was on the phone. And uh, I have one section of woods that's uh, more of a, a briar for rabbits and stuff. And then I have the other section that goes across the top of my field that goes straight across to where a water tower is. And when I was on the phone, I, I told the person I was talking to, that you need to hold on for a second. Somebody's on my property. And I'm looking, and uh, it was at dusk. Um, so I'd have to say it was around maybe 9 p.m. in August, uh, whenever the sun starts setting around that time. And um, the thing was doing this weird stride. And uh, I had a weapon on me, but I, I didn't want to pull it because I, I didn't know if it was a trespasser or what, because it looked... Uh, it was really hairy and uh and i didn't know anything about sasquatches or things like that but um in the way that it was walking with its its legs its arms would move the same as its legs straight out and i i told the person on the phone hey look you know I, i'm i'm seeing something and i'm not believing it. i don't know what the heck this thing is you know it's really big it's hairy and i was like i don't know if it's some hairy hillbilly you know streaking across the property it's it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So I had no idea what it was. And uh, it walked straight across the property and then up towards where the water tower was. And uh, and I was like, I'm seeing this, but I don't believe it. And it's it, I have no idea what the heck this thing is. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't know what to make of it. And now that I've been talking to people and, and I explain what I saw, they're saying that the exact explanation that I'm giving is what they saw that was normally a Sasquatch. But the next day I got up and I walked out there where I could actually see because there was a lot more daylight. You know, I, the fields were just freshly cut and uh, it was in the dry season. So there wasn't any footprints or any marks or tracks or anything else for me to see. Um, but it was uh, it was just strange. I, I do remember, though, that I was downwind. So it was uh, we were getting... Um, a south to northern wind so it was coming past him and i just smelled a strong smell that was coming from it and i'm like well i was like i wouldn't mind inviting that thing down here for a drink but i'm like it better take a bath first because it stinks <laughs> um other than that uh i i was always a skeptic about things like this but you know seeing's believing and i i'm i gotta tell you i'm actually a believer now but um mm. you know if if uh you know i i I, I don't mind, you know, hunting or anything else, but if I ever saw something like that again, I wouldn't want to cause it any harm. Yeah. But. And you, um, you're a Marine, right? Yes, a, sir. A I'm, an, I'm an eight-year Marine veteran, yes, sir. Yeah, well, thank you for your service. You're welcome. Um, so you've been through a lot, and did this, what emotions, if, if any, after you saw this? Any emotions? Uh, for me, it's, uh, you know, just trying to gain an understanding. Um, and... Now I believe that there's a, there's more out there than what we truly understand, and uh, we can't take take things lightly, and we have to respect nature because I think nature has a lot more to offer. And if this in fact is 100% real, then we should respect it. And if it's hiding from us, it's hiding from us for a reason. And I don't blame them because <laughs> we're a very volatile creature on this planet. And I, I think uh, my opinion is now is that I think that it's more of a nature oriented being and it's here to protect nature and to protect it from us. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's going to also protect us from ourselves because I've heard some stories where they have actually helped people and that's great. Yeah. They seems like they're, uh, they're a lot better than we are. Yeah. Um, I agree. I would say if anybody comes across uh, a creature like this, don't cause it any harm because I don't think it's here to harm you. Yeah, I agree. Can you uh, tell tell us the color or the hair, uh, the length of the hair, the color of it? Uh, it, it was distant. Um, the color of the hair, it was dusk, but I would say it was more like a, a dark brown close to a black. Um it was very long, so it's not like, you know, my chest hair is, is maybe not even an inch long, but this was, I mean, it was covered from head to toe. 
Um, the top of the head was, it, it wasn't like a cone. It was more of a, a rounder shape, but it, it definitely was different than a human head. Um, its arms were, I would say, if I had any explanation, they, they give an expression, Abraham Lincoln arms. I mean, I got long arms, but a lot longer than mine. Um, came down uh, past the waist, um, I'd say almost to the thighs. And it, it would do a, a long stride with the stretching of the arms like this as it went with the same conception with the legs. Mm -hmm. And it, was, um, it wasn't it was like a, a stride that we would normally have. We have our knees, we're bending it and stuff. It would have a long stretch of and it. That's what you told me earlier. The, that's what struck you as odd. Yes. Was not just the fact it was covered in hair. But the long strides and the yes, the, sir. the arms, the swinging of the arms yep. really stuck out to you. Well, because as humans, when we walk, I mean, we'll, we'll go and all swing our arms, but it's down more towards our sides where this was putting it out almost yeah. to the point where it's almost vertical or uh, yeah, vertical or horizontal yeah, or yeah. more of a horizontal. Yeah. So it as it put its leg out, it would have its arm go straight out and it was leaning a little forward and it would go with that pace and it wasn't changing its stride and it's like i didn't even exist you know it just went on its own business gotta go do what i gotta do and that's the thing that really struck me where i'm like okay this isn't something normal it, that can't be a human being unless there's, there's something that's physically wrong with this person because I've never seen anybody walk that way in my entire life. Mm -hmm. That's why the person that was on the phone at first, I, I wasn't even talking. And they're like, Joe, are you there, Joe? I was like, I'm seeing something that I can't understand and I can't relate to. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, th this is unbelievable. And because I was on my phone, I didn't even think to go and turn video on. So, you know, I kept my mouth shut because I'm like, nobody's going to believe me or they're going to commit me because, you know, I, I was in the Marines and maybe they'll put me in a rubber room or something, <laughs> you know? So I was fearful of that. But then when, uh, now my friend is telling everybody what I saw and I'm like, well, you know, I, I maybe it was a dream or something. I'm like you were on the phone with me. It wasn't a dream. You saw it. I'm like, yeah, but there was no footprints. There's no tracks. And, um, so it's uh, it's kind of hard to uh, to relate to and to find out certain information when I've given my testimony about it that people have said, look, exactly what you're saying is what other people yeah. have said happened. Yes. You know, and the hardest part for me right now is for somebody to say, look, this is what you saw. And I'm like, but it's not supposed to be real. I'm telling you right now, what I saw seeing is believing. Mm -hmm. That's it. it. It was real. Yeah. And, you know, uh, being a Marine, I'm honorable. I don't believe in lying. And for me to even say it coming out of my mouth, I'm telling you right now, it still sounds crazy. I'd commit myself. <laughs> but it's, it, it's what I saw, yeah. you know, and I, I can't change that. And in, it's one of those other things is, is that sometimes you don't want to know the truth. And now that I'm told the truth, it makes it even freakier for me because it just confirmed what I saw was real. Yeah. You know, I, I can just imagine how people are if there's like a UFO or something somewhere and they're seeing this and they think they're crazy and then other people are giving them facts. I've never seen that. I, I still don't believe that unless I see it, but... God, if I saw a Sasquatch, the next thing you know, I'm going to see a UFO, and then I'm definitely going to commit myself. <laughs> but it's uh, it, it's what I saw, and, yeah. and I'm not going to go back on it. Yeah. You know? Well, I appreciate you sharing this with us. Um, yes, sir. A couple things. How far away was it from you, would you say? About 70, I think 70 yards from my back deck to where the tree line is. Okay. It's about 70 yards there, sir. 70 yards. Yes, sir. And so how big was it? Can you think, can you gauge the size? Um, my best guess, because I've been up on the back tree line there looking down at the house and the house looks a lot smaller. So I would have to say roughly seven to eight feet. Yeah. You know, typical um, size. Of a, it is? Of a Bigfoot, yeah. I, so, but that that's what I would guesstimate judging by when I'm up in the backfield and I look down at the house. You know, that's how I, I gauge uh, height, but um, you know, I would say close guess is about seven to eight feet. Yeah. And, and how long? Very heavy. You, very heavy. Yep, big. Big. He, he was big, yeah. 
Yep. I, I would say <laughs> over 200 pounds, 300 pounds maybe. I yeah. mean, um, the way the arms look, I'd have to say the arms were muscular, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I can't really give you any more really good detail because, like I said, it was dusk. Yeah. And I'm getting older, so my eyesight isn't as good. So so did it look skinnier or, or bulky? Bulky. Bone bulky. It was broad. Okay. It, yeah. Its shoulders were very broad. Yeah. Um, it, it did. It, it, the physique almost kind of looked like, you know, like a body. It kind of came down to a V. The, mm -hmm. the waist was thinner. Yeah. But um, I would say that if it came close to me, I'd probably be very scared that it could mm -hmm. just rip me apart. Yeah. You know, um, uh, other than that, like I said, it was dusk, so I can't give you a lot more detail. It didn't look at me, so I can't tell you about eyes or facial features or anything. Just what I saw with the side profiles. All right. Um, you mentioned the smell. Yeah. It was like a, a an ammonia urine type smell. Urine, like ammonia. Hmm. Yes. Interesting. <clears throat> um, since then, because this is this was a year ago, about. Mm -hmm. Or two years. Two ago. years. Two years. Yes. Um, has anything changed on your property or anything? Have you heard anything else? Have, do you act differently now? Uh, I don't act any differently since I didn't feel that there was any threat by this. I, I'm I'm not concerned or scared. Um, but myself and other people that I've invited over to the home, like during the summer for cookouts, barbecues. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're there for later in the evening, we hear the howling that goes on and, and they ended up testifying to me. They heard it because I thought, am I crazy? What is that? Mm -hmm. You know, and I know what coyotes sound like. Uh, there's bears around and everything else. This is a sound that I've never heard. And it, it's gone on for quite a bit now, um, pretty often. As a matter of fact, uh, this winter, especially around Christmas, you know, it was extremely cold out, but yet I'm outside and I'm hearing this howling and, and I called a couple of people out. I was like, do you hear that? And they're like, yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's strange. Um, uh, people have said that they've heard like knocks and stuff. I haven't heard any knocks, but just, uh, howling. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's not long howling. It's, it's very short. It's brief, but it's concise. Um, it's usually off to the left side of the field and then it'll go towards the middle side of the woods. Um, that's in the back. Mm -hmm. um there is a cave that's on my property and i've always been told well it's a bear cave but what's interesting is is i finally walked the property i have 20 acres of land and i found this cave and i will say this the smell that i smelled from the downdraft from that day smells the same as the entrance of that cave mm -hmm. so um could be in the cave uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it might stay. Maybe it stays there when it gets cold and moves on or it could be, or again, it could be a bear. There's a black bear that comes around. So maybe it's a bear. Like I said, I, mm -hmm. I can't, uh, deny anything or, or say, you know, fact because mm -hmm. it's to me, it's not factual. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but there's no other changes that I've seen on the property. Um, just the howling that I hear every now and then, yeah. uh, that's it. Yeah. Well, uh, again, thank you. And if anything else comes up, just contact us, and maybe we'll come out there. Okay. Have a little cookout and yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, do a little bigfooting. Uh, yeah, you're sometime. you're more than welcome. It's just uh, I mean, if I see something again, I, I I guess I need somebody to bring it up to. <laughs> so, you know, I'll definitely get in contact with you, and hopefully, maybe I'll be able to take a picture and be smart enough to react at the time. It's just when you first see something that you're not used to, your body kind of goes in a shutdown mode because you're like, what is that? Yeah. And you, you don't think about it. Yeah. So um, hopefully that, you know, this will give you a little uh, feedback and some understanding. And if anybody does watch this, look, you know, when people are telling you that they saw something, uh, I do know that tricks can be played on people's eyes, but... I've seen a lot of things and I've been all over the world. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah.